Hi guys, Ryu here and in this video we're gonna be talking about why you cannot become a successful artist and what's stopping you from becoming a successful artist. Okay, I'll give you several reasons that will put a serious, you know, brakes on your on your progression, right? I was uh, looking at, um, at this series of videos I released recently and something really struck me. If you look at this series, you know, Complete uh, Beginner's Guide to Hard Surface, you'll see an interesting progression of views. And if you think that, yeah, this video was released a week ago and this one was released, you know, like a few hours ago, that doesn't matter. This video was like, you know, one and a half K views after a few hours, okay? So that doesn't matter. Look at the pattern. It's 4K views, 1.3, 800, 800, and then 180. If I'm gonna show you the other video, okay? So now if you look at this series, it's 90K, 98K here, 23k on the second one and only 14k on the third part and these are short videos it's like you know half an hour each the reason why i'm showing you this is because this is one of the reasons why you will not succeed as an artist if you're going to continue like one of these people you give up too easily i see this a lot i see shit like on forums you know people saying oh i started blender yesterday i feel like giving up well, give up then. I mean, it's only 1% is going to make it to the top anyway. You want to be in that 1%? Stop fucking whining and, you know, get going. Yeah? Start studying. Less talking, more doing. All right? That's the first reason. Second reason, which is really important, is um, lack of consistency. Okay? When you row a boat on the stream, uh, on, the, on, the, on the river, and you stop rowing, you're going to get pushed back. And this is exactly how it is with everything in life, okay? Studying everything. You gotta be consistent. Doing art for 24 hours on Sunday, then skipping for two weeks, you ain't gonna make a good artist. You gotta be consistent. If you have time only for two hours, well, study fucking two hours. You know, don't mock about, don't come up with excuses, tell your friends to fuck off and study. If you wanna become successful, and this is really what you wanna do, you're not just saying that, then, you know, do it like you mean it. You know what I'm saying? That's two. You seek praise and admiration. This is the stupidest thing you can do, but it's common, you know, among artists that we do post stuff and we want to see people like it. That's normal, but don't seek that actively, okay? Don't create stuff just to be praised, admired, or whatever. No, dude, you create for yourself. And if you create for others, you're never going to be successful because you're never going to develop your own style. Because you're not listening to yourself. Uh, you listen to what others tell you, what others think, and you start making stuff for the public and that's when you become commercial and that's when you become shit because progression isn't being unique you know progression is where you go against the grain all right you follow the rules of art but you're trying to break them in the original way that's progression okay other than that is a waste of fucking time and you produce shit we have enough of shit in this world so stop doing it just stop seeking praise and admiration okay so start thinking that you're making this for yourself for your own, you know, um, satisfaction and pleasure, okay? And then you start seeing art in a different way. You're going to start seeing, you know, even the comments or whatever in a different way. You, you'll be less affected, and that's important, right? Another is this one. This is truly soy stuff, okay? You congratulate yourself. I mean, I don't even know what to say to this one, man. Look. Uh, you're going forward, right? If you're going to the store, you're not going backwards. You're going forward, right? You're going to the store. You're not going back to your house, okay? So stop going backwards. Stop looking backwards. Stop looking what you've done. Start looking at what you haven't done, what you can achieve, right? Always look forward. If you get out of the deep snow, find a deeper snow, yeah? This is the only way to go forward. Find more difficult challenge, more difficult task. Start learning something you don't know you're scared of, right? So don't waste your time on, you know, patting yourself on the back. Start doing something serious, okay? And, uh, you know, keep going forward. The only time when I would say, you know, I've done this and that, just to establish where I'm at, okay? My genuine level and then think, shit, I need to go there, okay? This is where I want to be at. So be that guy. You look back and seek in reassurance, right? So this is common among artists as well. You know, we, we, we self-conscious a lot, right? And uh, it's a mixture of self-consciousness, ego, and all this stuff, okay? Because you feel also threatened by other artists in a way, okay? Because you think, oh, shit, I'm never going to be that guy, you know? I'm not going to be that good. But seeking reassurance all the time. Well, 
I think it's the best way to do to go about is to convert seeking reassurance into into seeking a right path because when you truly genuinely as a person on the right path or as an artist you know that you go in the right path then you will eventually get there all you need to do is follow these steps stop giving up stop praising yourself and keep keep consistent you know stay consistent right keep it up just keep going right but doesn't mean you have to go blindly that's a different story but you know seeking all the time reassurance you ain't gonna make a good artist okay because it's like it's like kids looking to parents looking up to parents you know when they i don't know got some good grades in school waiting for the parents to say wow you did an amazing job fuck that you know you've done it okay it's done move on to another task stop wasting time on this shit all right six you focus on how to sell it not how to create it and this is similar um to the seeking admiration and congratulating yourself so you, you 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 try to focus on how to sell your art as in like you try to focus on uh, how to produce something that's gonna please other people are gonna make you you know a, a center of attention on facebook instead of trying to actually create something really cool that you're gonna be satisfied with and you know fuck the others okay or this could be an explicit meaning, whereas you try to actually create something just to sell it. That's not really art, that's craft, okay, that's different. Try to create to, you know, to come up with something amazing and then for sure it will sell. Probably even for more money if you want to sell it, right? So instead of trying to push, you know, stuff on the market, try to or market yourself in this way try to actually create some really good foundations and this is going to take off on its own right it's gonna sell itself basically okay next one you think you're not good enough or will never reach that certain level you will never reach the maximum level right there's no such thing as perfection if you're perfectionist you there's another problem that you should be you know taking care of because perfection doesn't exist when i finish my render i already hate it I want to make it, you know, make a new one. I don't like it. There's something that bothers me immediately, okay? There's just no thought, such thing as perfection. And if you think that way, it means you're growing fast, which is good. So if you think you're not good enough, okay, that's good, right? That's good. But don't take it negatively. Take it positively. Just uh, keep pushing. It means you need to study harder. It means you need to put more effort into it, okay? Maybe you need to take a different approach. But don't give up because that's you know that's not the way out it's just an escape it's a coward way out okay don't be a coward be a warrior it's a war right you got an enemy your fucking laziness so fight it right so instead of saying oh i'm not good enough i'll never reach that level well fucking did you try well try it and when you you know when you try just lose yourself into trying and keep trying until you die and that's life okay welcome to earth so it's good to have dreams, right? But uh, don't let these dreams, you know, drown you, right? Dreams should be scary, because if they're not scary, they're not big enough. But, but they shouldn't be paralyzing, okay? You know what I mean? They should be challenging, scary, scary in a challenging way, right? Eight, you stay in a safe zone. This is really common, right? When you know something, you feel comfortable with it. You're gonna keep repeating it because it succeeded. What well, is bullshit? That's not growing. That's stagnant. Okay, don't be stagnant. You need to keep. You need to keep risking all the time. It's like in business. If you don't risk, you're not gonna gain. But you need to do it smart in a smart way. Yeah. So keep challenging yourself, um, and keep just you know pushing yourself towards new things. But don't make these challenges so big that you cannot overcome them. You're gonna get frustrated. Okay. So it's good to challenge yourself all the time. Don't stay in a safe zone. It's like going to gym. If you go to gym and you're going to, you know, lift, you know, a certain amount of weight all the time for like three or four months, you ain't going to grow. It's, you're just going to stay stagnant, okay? You need to push yourself. You need to challenge your, your body in a different way, right? You know what I'm saying? So do that instead. Okay, nine. You, you try to push through the walls that should be walked around. That's also uh, quite common. Look, when you find yourself a challenge and you really cannot overcome, maybe you're not ready yet. So don't don't say, you know, I'm going to, I don't know, spend five years trying to push through it. Maybe you're not ready yet. Maybe you need to learn different skills to be able to tackle that. Maybe you need better weapons, you know. You know what I'm saying? So going against a war mech with a bow, you ain't going to work. You need a gun. You need some kind of a cannon, right? So find that cannon. Build it. 
If you need new skills to challenge something, then do it. You know, spend more time developing other skills and then kind of, you know, re regroup and then attack it again, right? Also, sometimes, you know, maybe some goals or whatever are not for you. Maybe you thought it's for you, but it isn't. So maybe you should rethink that. But don't give up. That's different, yeah? Just, you know, regroup. You avoid or dismiss all critics. I mean, look, not every critic is going to be good because there's a lot of morons over there who think people who think they know, but they know fuck all. But basically, there are a lot of people that will give you occasionally a very good critique. You know, we receive a lot of critiques, for example, um, you know, um, regarding our courses. And a lot of them actually were very valuable and we took them to heart and they improved our skills, right? So um, that was a good thing. But, you know, the critique's going to happen because if you're going to put yourself out there in public, you're going to get critiqued. So fucking get used to it. Grow a thick skin, okay? Grow a thick skin. You know, it's like with all these fucking soy boys running about now, you know, this PC fucking bullshit culture when people get offended with it because you said good morning too late in the fucking day. I mean, you know, I can't deal with this shit. This is just too much. It's too retarded, okay? It's too fucking retarded. You know, I mean, Rowan Atkinson said something very interesting. He said that, um, if you don't know who Rowan Atkinson is, the guy who played Mr. Bean, created character Mr. Bean, he said something that, you know, people should be able to say anything um, to one another and then they're going to grow thick skin, therefore nothing's going to be offensive. But that's brilliant. That's how it used to be back in the 70s, okay? Back when life was normal, all right? So you got to grow a thick skin, you know? got to grow a thick skin, okay? Just ignore it. You know, put thing, put people and ignore, remove them from the channel. I don't care if they're retarded, just ignore them. But if they come up with a genuinely interesting and constructive critique, think about it, you know? Or or maybe, you know, I don't know, seek another opinion, you know? And then maybe you do need to change a few things, right? It happens. I mean, it's look, it's a growth, okay? When you go into school and you do something wrong, teacher is going to correct you. When you go to gym and you're doing something wrong, your instructor is going to correct you. It works like that, right? So... Seek a second opinion. Look up to someone who's better. Send someone an email that you admire. I don't know. They might be able to help you. We get a lot of emails, you know, and we, we try to help people if we can. If they come up with questions regarding Blender, etc., right? Don't dismiss all critiques. That's not a good idea, right? You are easily distracted. Let me explain you how I work. I work 12 to, to 16 hours a day, every day, no vacations. I don't give a fuck. I just like it, okay? If you're not that kind of a person, I understand that I'm probably in 1% of mental people on this earth who just, they're, they're fucked up, they can work all the time. I don't care, I don't mind. I like it, I enjoy it. I don't need to go out, I don't need to, you know, meet people who are going to waste my fucking time. I don't have time for small talks, I just don't give a shit, okay? I want to work, I want to improve myself, I want to I wanna keep plowing, that's my thing, right? So if you're not that kind of a person, you need to have some kind of interactions, yeah, do it. But don't get distracted, that's the thing, okay? People procrastinate and they get distracted very easily not just by others but they let or seek destruction to excuse themselves from actually doing the right thing okay so you, you can't lie to yourself you know that right and um, so don't come up with excuses and fucking you know get to it yeah start working no excuses yeah because you know if you're gonna let us if you let yourself being distracted then it's your own fault that you fucked up you, can blame, you cannot blame anyone else, even if you want to. Deep down, you know. You fail at marketing. This is really cool, okay? I used to do photography for a long time, and marketing wasn't my strong suit, you know? I didn't like it. I didn't, didn't understand the importance of it, and it was a struggle, yeah? Thankfully, I met Josh, who, who is, you know, he really enjoys marketing. And actually, thanks to him, I started liking marketing. My wife is also, you know, she likes marketing, she likes selling, so... These do help me a lot because artists, we, we're not really, we don't care about money much, right? We don't care about, you know, selling shit. We just want to create. Like, if you're a true artist, you just, you just want to be left the fuck alone and create. Am I right? But unfortunately, you know, you do need to do a bit of marketing. You need, you need to have the skill. If you want to market yourself, market your portfolio, market your products, anything, okay? Market your kit bash, whatever. You need to do a bit of studying, okay? You need to learn that skill. And this is going to help you get more money for tools, uh, get more tools for your Blender, I don't know, buy a subscription to Marmoset, Substance Painter, whatever you need, right? Get some add-ons and get better and better and better and sell more and more so you can enjoy your art. See what I mean? It's a circle. You gotta do what you gotta do, okay? And then the last one is empty, and I'll tell you why. Because every single one of us has his own demons. So put your own demon in here, write it down and fucking fight it, okay? 
because you know studying and learning uh, evolving it's a it's a war you gotta fight you're a warrior right so you gotta fight okay don't give up you gotta fight you gotta be tough so you know if if you're in war you know who's your enemy your worst enemy put it there as a 13 and fight that bitch all right all right guys take it easy all the best and uh, you know keep pushing yeah talk to you in the next one